What is one of the biggest obstacles that separates the world we have from the world we want? The answer is malnutrition. Malnutrition is responsible for almost half of the 6 million deaths in children under 5 each year. It drains $3.5 trillion from global economies and prevents 25% of children from reaching their full potential in life. One of the key problems is that not everyone has access to the nutritious, vitamin and mineral rich food they need to survive and to thrive. The WFP is tackling the problem of uh, hunger since decades. But only recently the world has recognized that the problem of undernutrition is something we really have to tackle. But also that the first 1,000 days in people's life is something we have to focus on. To effectively scale up nutrition interventions to reach whole communities, WFP works with governments, civil society and private sector partners such as DSM. Since 2007, the WFP-DSM partnership has invested in developing several effective nutritious products, including micronutrient powders for young children that just cost pennies per serving. One of the many countries where this partnership is active, together with the local government, is Indonesia. Dua persoalan gizi masyarakat yang sudah bisa kita selesaikan adalah persoalan kekurangan vitamin A dan kekurangan yodium. Namun, masih ada dua persoalan besar yang kita hadapi dalam hal gizi, yakni adalah stunting dan obes pada balita. Investasi perbaikan gizi di Indonesia diarahkan untuk meningkatkan kualitas sumber daya manusia Indonesia dan meningkatkan daya saing bangsa. Inilah yang kita yakini sehingga kita melakukan investasi di bidang gizi. To address malnutrition, it is critical to focus on the first 1,000 days of a child's development, where we see the greatest impact on the child's future physical and mental capacities. One way of reaching children and pregnant mothers during this vital 1,000-day window is through what is known as a posiandu, a center for pre- and postnatal health care and education related to nutrition and hygiene. Ada tiga kegiatan di posyandu. Yang pertama, pemeriksaan ibu hamil. Yang kedua, memonitor pertumbuhan anak. Yang ketiga, pemberian imunisasi dan pemberian makanan tambahan kepada anak. Status stunting di Kabupaten Timur Tengah Selatan untuk anak-anak dari Riskesdas 2010 sebesar 70 persen. Sedangkan di daerah intervensi WFP di 30 posyandu, terjadi penurunan sebesar 20 persen menjadi 50 persen. In addition to focusing on nutrition during the first 1,000 days, WFP provides fortified food through its school meals program in Indonesia and many other countries to provide school children with improved nourishment. Gizi yang baik itu sangat penting sekali karena dapat meningkatkan daya tahan tubuh dan juga konsentrasi otak terutama dalam masa pertumbuhan seperti sekarang ini. Dengan bantuan WFP, SD Impres Guan Hyo memberikan makanan tambahan kepada siswa. Ditambah dengan bubuk tabur gizi yang kita sebut dengan Vitas. Ini dampaknya sangat baik sekali karena meningkatkan konsentrasi belajar siswa, kemudian siswa sering datang ke sekolah, kemudian tidak mengantuk dalam kelas, mereka semangat sekali dalam menerima pelajaran. There are few other interventions as effective as those that focus on nutrition. For example, research shows that proper nutrition over the course of one's life can lead to a 46% increase in lifetime earnings for people. In fact, according to analysis by a group of leading economists from the 2014 Global Nutrition Report, every $1 invested in scaling up nutrition interventions yields a median return of $16 in benefits. We are already making progress in reducing malnutrition by securing the future well-being of many children and their families all around the world. Good nutrition is a catalyst for attaining the sustainable development goals. However, local level proven interventions, such as the ones provided by WFP in partnership with a wide range of stakeholders, need to be expanded. Current coverage rates are shockingly low. Firm commitments and increased funding will give more children the opportunity to thrive and to contribute to the future long-term success of their families, their communities and their nations.